Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, I have a few videos to make. Hopefully I can fit them all in before my son gets home from his last day of school uh, today because I also have to run to my daughter's field day and I'll be there for a couple hours. So I'll do my best, um, but I wanted to show you uh, one of the best hauls first. I went to a rummage sale about 40 minutes away across the border in Pennsylvania. Um, I ended up going there last year because I saw some signs after I had been to the dentist. So I used to live over there for a few years and didn't want to switch dentists so I keep driving out there. But it's a good thing I did because last year I went to the sale it kind of stunk but I put my name on the email list and I kept debating whether to go this time and I did and I got quite a haul. Most of it is needlework kits um, and some of them are actually worth quite a lot of money. So I'm going to jump right in and show you guys everything that I got. I spent a total of $79 which is a lot for me. Um, but I'll make that back and more by just selling one item. So here we go. Um, the mugs cost 25 cents a piece I think. This is a Mickey Mouse milk glass mug from Pepsi put out in 1980. The only bad thing is it's got a little imperfection right there but see what happens with that. I found this Santa's Little Helper Woodstock Christmas mug in the holiday section. Looks like it's brand new, just needs to be cleaned up. This was a really pretty one with the butterflies and the flowers. Um, it's Portobello by Inspire. They have a lot of different um, designs of these and they're all pretty much selling so I shouldn't have a problem getting about 10 for that and then I wish I found this before Father's Day but I found this Budweiser Stein I don't usually buy Steins because they don't usually sell well but I figured this one has to go eventually it's got this really cool handle in the shape of a pipe and the little pen in the pocket and the tie Budweiser salutes dad and this was made in 1996. I think they actually charged me a dollar for this one. Uh, then I got one book. I got this Baltimore Catechism number no. three regular edition book. I think this was published in 1943. There are a lot of these on eBay. They seem to be selling very well, and the older versions seem to be selling well. Uh, selling weller. Good. Selling better than the newer ones. So I should be able to make about 10 on that. I think I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. Then I found these guys, which I think I'm going to end up keeping for myself for at least one season. These are little Hallmark houses. They're called Caroling Cottages. And you plug them together. I think you plug them into each other. I think somehow oh yeah you plug them into each other back here and they all light up and play music I have to test them but they wanted four a piece for these I think originally they retailed for like no, they retailed for $19.95 I paid the four a piece for them because if I sell them as a lot I can probably make um, around 40 to 50 on them but like I said I'm probably gonna keep them um, for this season because we like things that light up and play music. I have the other set that Hallmark put out, the little snow globes with the the elf, the snowman, the reindeer, and the Santa Claus that they, they tap dance. They're adorable. And they sell really well. If I wanted to sell those, I'd probably make a really decent amount of money on them, but we really like them, so we're going to keep them. I found this unusual tray for a dollar that says United States Senate. On the back, it says, uh, it's hard to see that. It says Picard, P-I-C-K-A-R-D, proudly made in America. There's a lot of these trays and plates and stuff with the same design by the same company on eBay, but there's absolutely nothing with United States Senate 
on it. So I'm curious to see how that'll do. And then the last thing I bought that was not a needlework kit was this plaque. It's really pretty. It says um, it's by Rachel Badu for Sylvestri. And it's not plaster. It's kind of, I guess it's supposed to kind of look like plaster. It's a really pretty plaque with these two little girls on it and it has this quote on it about um, friends who are, you know, almost like sisters. That I think I paid two or three for. Alright, so now I'm going to dive into all these needlework kits that I found. As soon as I got done with the mugs, I ran back to the craft section and I'm very, very happy that I did. They had a ton of these kits and I love them because they usually always sell and they are so, so easy to ship. I found this one from Dimensions. This is um, the Gold Collection, which is always good, but this is one of their smaller ones. There aren't any on eBay right now. I paid probably two to four dollars for each kit that you're gonna see. Um, this one's called Blessed Family. Everything's there. These two are from Longaburger, which I didn't even know that they made cross stitch kits. This one is for a specific basket for the woven memories basket. I know nothing about Longaburger. I'm not into baskets, but um, I know how popular they can be. So I had to pick that up. This one I think will be the better seller of the two. This is a bell pull kit. Unfortunately, the hardware doesn't come with it, but it should still sell. Then I found these four quilting kits. One is just the pattern and the rest have the fabric with them. They're from this series called Petals of My Heart. They're all these wildflowers. They were designed by, oh, where is her name? Here we go. Oops. Here it is, McKenna Ryan. This is Blue Clematis, Spider Wart, this one has the fabric, Mountain Lady Slipper, and Trillium. And these are also selling pretty well on eBay, so I shouldn't have a problem with those. Then I found this 101 Dalmatians cross stitch kit from Disney, brand new in the package. And that retailed for 30. I think I paid two. Um, I bought this. This is actually a finished cross stitch piece. This is a Noah's Ark sampler. Um, I figured, you know, samplers usually sell pretty well and this with the animals and the folk artsy kind of look to it, uh, I shouldn't have a problem selling that for at least 10. I got this Bucilla felt applique stocking kit for I think two or three bucks. The Dimensions cross kit, uh, cross kit, cross stitch kit. This is another sampler. This one's by something special. It's called Swan's Picture. There's a bunch of these up there, um, so it might take a while to sell that one. Two stocking kits. There are some of these on eBay, but none of these two particular designs. And they're actually the, the cuter designs of the bunch. This one is quietly watching Santa stocking. And I think these were made back in the 80s or something, called the Wee Winsomes. And then this one's really cute with the snowman. It's called Snowman Stocking. And then I got this big felt tree skirt kit. There are a few of these on eBay from the same company, Titan Needlecraft but none of them are of this scene with Santa and his reindeer, and I think this is actually the nicest one of all the ones that are on eBay right now. So, crossing my fingers, make about 30 to 40 on that. Then this is from Paragon. This is Candle Wick Plus. Candle Wicking is a another kind of needlework. This was 50 cents. This is for this welcome banner up here, and then they've got other ones in the series. But um, 
one of these did sell for I think 10 to 10 to 20 something like that recently and now come my big scores of the day over at the rummage sale for three dollars I found this gold collection dimensions kit this is called mystical wizard all these are selling for around 20 to 40 I think they they took everything out of the package and may have sorted the thread but I, I have to take this out and look at it I think everything is in here um, so I might make you know more towards the $20 range because it was taken out of the original package but as far as I know it's complete and unused then there's this stocking kit from Dimensions this is the Snowflake Dreams Angel Stocking and there's just this little note in here that says there was just an error in the main chart so there's nothing really wrong with it that's complete all the ones that I've seen on eBay the buy it now price is around ninety nine dollars something like that it's crazy what some of these things can sell for you guys I and mean, you know you, <laughs> some of you may not like that I buy you know coffee mugs or these kits but you know sometimes you can really really <clears throat> make some good money with them this is another one that I might do really well on this is a cruel embroidery pillow kit makes this long rectangular pillow it's from Elsa Williams Needlecraft Creations there are a lot of these pillows online some of them are making some really good money the only other rectangular one that I saw that sold um, had a tree on it and it sold for hundred and sixty nine dollars so this one is really nice with the spring colors and everything so I'm hoping that this one um, you know gets over the hundred dollar mark that would be great and then this was my big big score of the day this is another dimensions gold collection cross stitch kit with this really pretty angel stocking and then the nativity scene down here it's called heavenly herald stocking two have sold recently on ebay both of them sold for a hundred and nineteen dollars with multiple bids so i will not have a problem selling this at all and this kit alone will cover everything that i just showed you guys and then some so i should make a pretty penny off of this rummage sale uh, so I'm very happy that I went they're having another one in the middle of August and I'm going to drive as fast as I can to get there so I have to run to field day now and hopefully I'll have a chance to get some more videos in um, before my son gets home later thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon Bye.